All right, everybody, it's Joe from Passion Unchained. I'm doing my review of the One Blade. Now, you might ask, how the hell does this have to do with Passion Unchained and charting your own path as an explorer? Um, two things in your life. Well, first of all, exploring means exploring in a lot of ways. I'm not being paid by One Blade. In fact, I have a lot of gripes with this blade. Spoiler alert. Um, I would recommend it only to certain types of people. But how the hell does that have to do with exploring and living a passionate life? Well, one thing I'm passionate about is um, cosmetics and beard care. So I'm exploring my own passion by exploring this new product. That's number one. And number two, looking good is part of, in my, my experience, part of living a passionate life. And part of being able to explore is if you look good, um, you feel better, people treat you better, you have more opportunities to you, or opportunities are easier um, because of your confidence, because of a lot of reasons. So um, looking good and grooming yourself is tangential and um, synergistic with living. Those are really big words. Oh my God, huge words. Really important to living passionately and exploring your own life. So... Um, yeah, so I just wanted to share that with you so you understand how it fits into the grand picture. And uh, without further ado, here's the review. All right, folk doodles, it's Joe. Let me move this a little bit. I am here with my Joe food thing on. Woo! It's a, a, a sports jacket. It's their Just One Earth line, which is really funny because it literally had my name on it. It had my name, Joe. Let me put my hat on. Look a little bit sexy. Yeah. By the way, I made that. That was with a laser cutter, pointer. Sorry, laser cutter right here. Um, and then this, I also drew my dear fireball. And this, too. I also drew that. Really huge fan of Fallout. I actually have a Nuka Cola thing. If you know what that is, you're awesome. It's on my neck. Just in case shit goes down, I have to have a couple caps. I also have a Sunset Sarsaparilla cap right here. Not a Blue Star one. Not that that really matters since that's a... Ooh, there we go. Let me put... It's focusing on my eyes. So there you go. Sunset Sarsaparilla. I have acne. I need to figure that out. But, um, yeah. So, those are some things I love. I love cultivating passions and stuff. But today I am continuing, I did an unboxing last week of um, the One Blade Core. And I have been using it, as you can see, I have shaved my body. That's one reason why I have my shirt off. I also just kind of like having my shirt off because I'm narcissistic like that. Plus I've been working on my body for the past few months, so why not show it off? And I, um, I've shaved my whole body. It's growing back a little bit, as you can see. Let me see if I can focus on, I if I press. There we go. You can see it's growing back. There's some hair. There we go. You can see my hair. Come on. All right. There we go. So sometimes you have to get it to um, go into focus. But um, so it's been, uh, I've been, uh, it's been growing back, but I shaved my body using the one blade. Ooh. Don't want to put this near my eye, but I need it to focus. And um, I have a lot of hair, guys. <laughs> you probably knew that already. But I have a lot of hair. It took me a while to shave all that. Uh, but I've come to a conclusion about the one blade. And the conclusion is that um, it's pretty simple. It is a safety razor. And being a safety razor is a damn good safety razor. But the flaw is that it's a safety razor, and safety razors have pluses and minuses. Pluses, I'm going to show you a little bit of the cool things. Pluses of um, safety razors are that they're great for large, flat areas, and they're great if you want to make shaving um, a, a routine. If you want to use this to make shaving um, something special for you, like kind of like the type of person who'd get an espresso machine rather than like a Keurig, 
that's what you want to do. That's the type of person who want who wants this is a person who's like, I want to like have like a whisk and like whip up my own shaving foam with like the powder and the water and stuff, and make it like a real ritual that I love every single morning or every single night or two times a day or five times a day. I don't know. That's the type of person that wants to get this or that wants to shave their whole face because cons, it is really bad for um, edging. It's really great for clearing whole areas like your body. It's really bad for um, making edges. I don't, I don't use this. Actually, you haven't used this since, uh, since I started it, um, since I shaved my body last week. But if you, um, if you want to keep like a nicely lined beard like me, you don't want to use this because it's hard to see like where it ends. It's hard to see like um, where it hits your skin is kind of in the middle. And so you can't really, it's hard to estimate and like make an edge with this guy. Because I can't, I can't really like figure out where it's hitting my skin when it's touching my skin. Because it's hitting my skin somewhere in the middle and I need it to be perfect. Um, I need to know exactly where, it, where it's hitting my skin. So this is not good for edging. It's good for clearing whole areas. So if you shave your face every morning... 100% clean shaven, great. Or you're shaving your body. But the issue with shaving your body is that it's good on flat surfaces. Um, your skin, your face, and your neck are flat. I mean, there's a, there's a jawline here, but you know, you, that's flat, that's flat. There's a bunch of meeting of flat faces. And as long as you're cool with like shaving it all off, you're fine. But also, like it was, I had to use other things to shave in here. And then also I cut my shin on my leg because that's a really bony part. Um, that's not because it's a bad razor, but that's because it is a safety razor. It's like you'd have to have a different type of razor to get around that con. So that just feeds into like this is a really damn good safety razor, but it is a safety razor. So understand what that means. Really great cons are the one, one blade specifically. It comes with this. This is cool as fuck. It's a little stand. Kind of shows it off in a sexy way. You see, I need to put it near my eyes because the, the camera automatically focuses on my eyes. So I want to put it near my eyes so the focal length is perfect. Um, it also comes with this, which is really cool. You put your used blades in there and that way you don't cut yourself. And I don't know how you take them out, to be honest. Maybe you just get another one of these when it fills up, but it's going to take a while to fill up. Like this is 10 blades. You see how thick that is? Like that's... You'd have to like, I don't know, like get like 50 blades to fill this up or something. And this also has paper in between each blade. So like 50, maybe 60 blades will fill this up. Um, each blade lasts for a couple shaves. That's another thing. Another con is that you have to buy a bunch of these, which isn't like too, too, too bad because it's about, it's like probably cheaper than buying those like $15 Harry's razor things or dollar shave club like attachments. Um... That's pretty much it. That's, I don't have too much to say. Um, and I'm just going to reiterate what I said. It's a great fucking safety razor. But it's also um, it's also a safety razor. So hope that helps you make your decision. And uh, unchain your passion. Chart your own path to your passionate life, my friends. Cheers. <laughs>